find the points of intersection if they exist for the following lines and parabolas. So we want to do this graphically and we'll check this. Uh, so we want to do this algebraically, sorry, and we will check it al uh, graphically later. So this is y is equal to 2x plus 3, which is the equation of a line. This is the equation of a line. And this is a parabola. y is equal to uh, x minus 1. This is a parabola. So, so let me draw a uh, line in the parabola just to give you a graphical understanding. This is, oops. So, so this is your x and y axis. This is a general parabola. So this is not this particular case. So let me draw the parabola first. Uh, this is not what I want. So this is a parabola, okay? And you've got a line. Okay, so yeah, a line can intersect. So within this case, this line is intersecting this parabola at two different points. So basically the question is, if they're intersecting, this can intersect in two different points. The other possibility is you can have a line going somewhat like this. Okay, suppose if a line is going like this, this line is not intersecting this parabola. Okay, or you can also have a line like this. It's just touching the parabola. So here yeah, you can say this is a tangent. So there are three different ways in which a line and a parabola can intersect each other. One is at two different points, at one point, or they don't intersect. And that's why they say if exist. So it is, uh, we have to do this algebraically first, so let's do it. So y is equal to 2x plus 3, and y is equal to x minus 1, the whole squared minus 3. So in place of y, I can put 2x minus 3, okay? So the next step is most difficult steps. I can say 2x minus 3. So let me write this again, sorry. So let me write this second equation first. So y is equal to x minus 1, the whole squared, minus 3. And y is equal to 2x minus, 2x plus 3. So in place of y, I can put 2x plus 3, and that's what I'm going to do because it says y is equal to 2x plus 3. So I can say 2x plus 3 is equal to, I'm going to write this as x minus 1 times x minus 1 minus 3. So this is 2x plus 3. Those who can do it, I would like you to do it yourself. Pause the video and try to do it yourself. So this is x squared. This is minus x minus x is minus 2x plus 1 minus 3. So this is 2x plus 3 is equal to x squared. So let's simplify this two first. This is x squared minus 2x minus 2. Okay, so now I want to make this a quadratic equation. So I'm going to I want to make one side zero, so I'm going to take away 2x from this side. So I'm going to take away 2x from this side. I'm going to take away 3 from this side, and I'm going to take 3 from this side. So this is two sides of an equation. So the right-hand side or the left-hand side becomes 0. This and this gets cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. So you're left with 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. So let's write this in the quadratic form. So this is x squared minus 4x minus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So putting them in brackets, this is x minus 5 times x plus 1 is equal to 0 x plus 1. Okay, so now setting each of them equal to 0, I can say, when would this become 0? Well, x has to be 5. And when would this become 0 when x is negative 1? So these are the x coordinates 
of the point of intersection. Okay, when x is phi and x is negative 1, they intersect each other. So let me do the working here. So we need to find y. We have got a simple equation of y. y is equal to 2x plus 3. So when x is phi, so we know x is phi, so I'm going to put x is equal to phi in this equation. So y is equal to 2 times phi is 10 plus 3 is 13. So when x is phi, y is 13, so I can say phi comma 13 is one point of intersection. This is one answer. Now the next is when x is negative 1. So let, let's again put this back in this equation. So y is 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So the other point of intersection is negative 1 comma 1. Okay, so yeah, so let me, so let's check this answer. So these are the two points of intersection when this line and this parabola intersect each other. So let's use our graphic calculator. So go to your graph menu and type in the equation 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3 in y1 and in y2 I'm going to type in x minus 1 the whole squared minus 3. Always check your scale shift f3 will give you take you the scale I'll make it standard which is minus 10 to 10 on both the axes and then go exit and then graph it. So this is your parabola and this is your line. So to find the two points, you go G-Solve and again F5. F5 is intersection. I-S-C-T stands for intersection. So one point is negative 1, 1. So that's this point. And if you press this replay key, it will take you to the other point, 5, 13. Okay, now if you want to make to see the both the points clearly, so I need, I'll take to 20 and then draw it. Okay, so you can see the two points. So this is phi comma 13 and this is, so again, g sol f phi, negative 1, 1, and if you press this, you'll get phi comma 13. Okay, so this is the next question I would like you to do yourself. Okay, so this is a parabola, so this is a line and this is a parabola. Okay, so I can, I think you can do this yourself. Okay, and I want to do this question where you've got a line and a circle. So yeah, this is a line and this is a circle. So the same process. Okay, we're going to set put y is equal to 2x plus 2 in this equation. Okay, so let me write the circle. Equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared is equal to 10. Okay, so let me put y is 2x plus 2. So this becomes x squared plus 2x plus 2. The whole squared is equal to 10. So always be careful in this step. Don't write 4x squared plus 4. That's where most of the students make mistakes. So this is x squared plus I'll write this in two brackets. So this is 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2. So you're using the foil and expand it is equal to 10. So this is x squared plus 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And then you've got a 2x plus 2x, which is 4x. No, sorry. <laughs> I made a mistake. So this is 2x. 2x times 2 is, so let me write the whole thing, 2x times 2 is 4x, plus 2 times 2x, 2 times 2x is 4x, plus 4 is equal to 10. So let's simplify this and this, and move this to this side. So three things we are going to do together. So this is 5x squared plus 5x, sorry, 8x. 4x plus 4x is 8x. 
and this is how much I'm going to take away 10 from both sides so this is minus 6 is equal to 0 5x squared plus 5x squared plus 8x uh, minus 6 is equal to 0. So now how will I find the, put them in two bracket? Okay, so this will, you have to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so using the quadratic formula, uh, so let's use the quad, using the quadratic formula, using, I want you to do that yourself. Okay, quadratic formula. So let me write the quadratic formula for those who don't know, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, where your a is 5, your b is 8, and your c is negative 6. I want you to do that yourself. So x I have already worked this out. X is uh, zero point. You can also use a calculator. I'll show you how to do this on a calculator. Zero point five five six four seven is your X value. Okay, and your that, this is your X one. This is one point of X coordinate. Your X two would be negative two point one five. 6, 4, 7. So let me show this how you can do this on a calculator directly. So go to equations, go to equation, and go to polynomial, and then go to the second degree polynomial. And there you have to just type in 5, 8, and negative 6. The calculator will work it out for you. Okay, and so these are the two values. Okay, 0 0.55467 and negative 2 point. Okay, and if you put this back in this equation, okay, if you put this back in the equation y is equal to 2x plus 2, you will get y1 and y2. So your y1, when x1 is 0 0.55647, would be 3 point, 3 point, one one two nine four. Okay, and y two is negative two point three one two nine four. Okay, now just to give you a graphical understanding, uh, you haven't learned about circles, maybe not. So this is a y axis and this is the x axis. So this is the x and y. Your circle would look somewhat like this. It's a circle with center at 0, 0. So this is a circle, just centered at 0, 0. And here you've got the line y is equal to 2x plus 2. So it goes somewhat like this. Okay, so this point, this, this is what we're talking about. So this is your x1, y1. Uh, sorry, this is your x x2, y2. This point is your x2, y2. Both coordinates are negative. Both are negative and this is your x1, y1. Okay, so both are positive in this quadrant and both are negative here. So this is your, this point, x2, y2, and this is this point.